Good morning, students. You are going to learn a new lesson, atmosphere. Let us see that what are the main content of this lesson. First, there is introduction, composition of atmosphere, structure of atmosphere, greenhouse effect, and last is global warming. Let us see that how the atmosphere is defined. It is defined as a blanket of air that is around the earth. Then let us see that what are the main composition of atmosphere. So this is given even in your textbook. So from this diagram you can see that here 21 uh, percentage is uh, oxygen and 78 percentage is uh, nitrogen and 1 percentage is carbon dioxide argon and uh, many other gases. So there are many observations about the atmosphere. First is that density of air decreases with increase in height, which means that the volume of air is more at the lower levels of atmosphere than at the higher levels. So why this happens? This happens due to the two reasons. One is gravity and another is air is pushing down from higher to lower levels. Similarly, the, uh, the temperature also decreases with the increase in height. This is happening also due to the two reasons. First reason is that atmosphere is heated more from heat radiated by the earth than from the incoming solar radiation. And the second reason is the presence of carbon dioxide, water vapor and many gases absorb more heat. See, the pressure differences make wind movement, which means that air is moving from, from the higher pressure area to the low pressure areas. Higher pressure area reverts to the cold air and low pressure area reverts to the hot air. Means the hot air being light rises and to the cold air coming and take its place. And the next is that windy air also make a changes in the weather conditions. Means the wind is coming from the cold places can reduce the temperature of hot regions. The wind also carries moisture and gives the rainfall. And wind, the air has its own weight, but we are not feeling the weight because our body also exert the same amount of pressure. And another point with regard to this is that when one goes to the higher levels of atmosphere, the air becomes thinner. Due to this reason, the mountainous carries an oxygen cylinder with them. And another point is that air pressure is very high at the sea levels compared to the other places. So there are three factors affecting the atmosphere. Let us see that which are the three factors. The first one is altitude, second is temperature and the last one is water vapor. So let us see that how these three factors are working. Means the air pressure decreases with increase in height at the rate of 1 centimeter for every 110 meters means as the altitude increases the air pressure decreases and the next point is that temperature which means that the areas which are very close to the equator are heated and thereby create a low pressure areas. Whereas 
the areas which are far away from the equator getting a sliding rise of the sun and there develop a high pressure areas. And the last point with regard to this is that water vapor means which is heavy water vapor or dry air means we, we can say that water vapor is lighter than the dry air that means more the water vapor lighter is the air yes, now uh, we move to the another uh, topic that is the structure of atmosphere atmosphere consists of five layers so which are this uh, five layers of atmosphere I will show you this from a list. So you can see from this list. First one is troposphere, second is stratosphere, third is mesosphere, fourth is ionosphere or thermosphere, and the last one is exosphere. So these are the different layers of atmosphere. The same I will show you from a diagram from your textbook. You can see from the textbook here. The first here are the lower most part is known as a troposphere, second is a stratosphere, third is a mesosphere, fourth is a ionosphere or thermosphere and the last two, uh, layer is a exosphere. So these are the different layers of atmosphere. So we will study this layers one by one. The first layer is known as a uh, troposphere. So this is the lower most layer of atmosphere. Uh, practically all weather phenomena is uh, taking place uh, in this uh, layer. The average height of uh, this uh, layer is uh, 14 kilometers, uh, but the height also varies uh, from place to place. At the port side, uh, the height is uh, 8 kilometer, whereas uh, at the equator, the height is uh, 16 kilometer. Another important uh, feature of uh, this layer is that uh, it contains uh, water vapor. Water vapor condenses into clouds and uh, fog. And uh, another feature is that uh, excessive uh, condensation leads to rain, rain, hail, snow, sleet. All this uh, uh, process are together known as uh, or collectively known as uh, precipitation. And uh, next feature of uh, this uh, layer is that uh, it contains uh, dust particles around which uh, water vapor condenses to form clouds. And uh, finally, the last feature of uh, troposphere is that uh, in this uh, layer, temperature decreases with uh, increase uh, in height. Now we are moving to the second layer that is stratosphere. This layer extends uh, between 15 to 50 kilometer or in latitude wise uh, it extended between 50 to 60 degree latitude. The, one of the main uh, feature of uh, this layer is that uh, temperature does not uh, change much in this uh, layer and practically no weather phenomena is uh, taking place. But another main uh, characteristic of uh, this uh, layer is uh, that uh, this layer contains uh, also means uh, about which you have studied in your previous class ozone layer is uh, very important uh, which protect the earth from the ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun and the third layer you are going to learn is that the mesosphere it extends uh, from 50 to 80 kilometer and uh, the main feature of uh, this uh, layer is uh, that uh, meteors uh, coming from the space get bent in this uh, layer due to friction. So meteors means uh, it is a small uh, pieces of uh, rock uh, that also get uh, bent in this uh, layer. And the next layer is known as uh, ionosphere or the thermosphere. The main feature of uh, uh, this layer is that uh, this layer contains uh, molecules and uh, atoms. So this uh, uh, molecules and atoms are electrically charged. The, this process is known as ionization. So this is occur due to the presence of ultraviolet rays, X-rays and gamma rays. So this enables this layer to make radio communication. And the, the last 
layer is known as a exosphere. So this is the outermost layer of atmosphere and in this layer uh, in small amount the presence of hydrogen and helium is found.